Hello, this is the name Sin and today I am going to do another cupcake but this time this cupcake will have a whipped cream on the top and cherries all around and the top so just like the previous one I will have the traceable available for you guys on my Facebook page and you can find um, my Facebook page in the links below so if before we begin please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications for my future videos and our cupcake is very simple shapes so for the bottom part the cup of the cake um, we have a trapezoid um, and then on the top we're gonna have an oval for the top of the cupcake we are going to have a cone shape and all the lines will be slightly slanted and also don't make them straight make them slightly wiggly so we have um, lines not 45 degrees uh, much less but they need to be kind of going around um, the cupcake so you want to soften the edge make it not sharp but uh, slightly going upwards. So you're building this uh, yummy whipped cream on the top. So each layer is getting smaller and smaller until it gets to the cherry. And the cherry is a circle with a smiley for the stem. And now we are ready to start painting. And we are going to use ochre. And our ochre is going to be the color of the cup on the cupcake and we're going to put few lines right in the shadow places and then we are going to run a clean brush over that and soften all the edges we're going to use a little bit of brown with our ochre for the deeper shadows and again we're using a lot of water not drenched in water but we're using water to soften everything that we do I just put a little bit of yellow also to brighten one of the sides on the top um, just to give it more kind of a three-dimensional look adding a few more lines here and there when it's wet um, because it's going to the paint it's going to go towards the wet areas but it's not going to start moving in the dry area so it's going to give me a sharp edge right at the place where it's dry uh, for the cupcake now we are going to have a much lighter color of yellow and ochre and then obviously we're going to put a little bit of a shadow with the brown because this is baked so we have a little bit browning right there and that's going to be our kind of shadows and we are going on the scallopy end so um the way we did that cup for the cupcake we have scallops on the top facing upward smileys and scallops on the bottom facing upwards like smileys and now if we move to the whipped cream we're going to get blue and just follow the line under that line so we are getting to the shadow and also we're going to increase a little bit that blue one more time much thinner and closer to that line so we can have kind of a two-part shadows and that's going to make it look much better also with the with a wet clean brush i'm going to gently um, soften everything that it's too sharp and the blue is going to be a good color to use for shadows so there's my second part of our shadow on the whipped cream. Just adding a little bit of color right there. You don't have to, you can leave it absolutely white because that will pop out when we put the background on our uh, cupcake. So you can leave that part white, you don't have to do what I just did can keep it cleaner brown black and ochre um, I am increasing the lines and the shadows on certain place 
but you can see that I'm staying very transparent so my colors are diluted with a lot of water I have quite a few videos with uh, or painting cupcakes so you can check those out they're all a little bit different and there is increasing our shadow increasing our line so this is more of an illustration so lines are good lines will help Choose one of your sides to have the shadow and this is where you want to put a little bit more color, a little bit darker color, deeper hue. We definitely don't want to lose the scallopy ends on the top so we're going to work on that for a little bit. Sometimes it's good to leave things to dry until you go back to it because otherwise your paint's going to start uh, just spreading around a little bit too much. Adding a shadow on the bottom when you paint is very important because you are going to ground the element. You're going to make this element sit on a surface, not float in the air. So we're going to do that to our cupcake, also to our cherries. And right away you can see how our cupcake it's sitting on the tape so I'm adding a much more much more color close to the element and then with a wet brush and clean I'm spreading it around so I'm softening that edge so let's go to the cherries the cherries um, will be very easy choose your light where the light is coming so obviously you already know because you start painting the cupcake I hope so um, so the light it's going to be one o'clock that means our cherry at eight o'clock the opposite corner will be much much darker and this is why you should wait until the element dries the previous element that you painted so your paint is not gonna move away from you or your paint yeah it's not gonna run away so I'm doing the cherries every chair is a little bit different you can you don't have to do it all the same you experiment and see what talks to you and what makes more sense to you so every artist can do a little bit different techniques on uh, their painting. So the cherry at three o'clock on uh, the right hand side, I added yellow first and then I added the red. Um, the one that is at eight o'clock on the bottom, I added the red first and then the yellow so i am doing kind of the same thing but in two different ways so increasing the color increasing the shadow and also the shadow for our red will be purple so we're gonna go there in a little bit there's our purple or actually that will be our yeah so you can use purple or green and purple for the stem also and our stem is a stick slightly bent with a little line on the top This is a perfect time for me to go back and add a little bit more shadows, a little bit more definition. And since our element has dried up, so we don't have a wet surface there, I'm gonna go back in and add more 
shadow and everything that I do is layers and layers of very transparent colors. That was a little cleanup right there. Took a little bit of the water away and lifting up the color. So I wasn't happy with this, so I wanted to lift part of the color and uh, play around a little bit more. So we're gonna add a little bit of ochre and yellow. So it's kind of like an orangey um, brownish color in a way. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm lifting some of the color. It merged a little bit too much. So if you add a little bit too much color somewhere, that's the way to remove it. You want to have a clean brush. You lift it and then clean the brush again and you try to lift it one more time. So we're gonna have a very soft background um, like you see I added a lot of water and I'm just dropping a few colors the colors I'm choosing it is part of the cupcake so I am getting the shadow which is on the opposite side where I'm putting the blue so the shadow on the whipped cream is on the left hand side and I'm putting the blue on the right hand side and also I'm going to add that yellowish color which is more present on the cupcake on the bottom on the right hand side so I'm kind of flipping um, the colors from one side to the other and I'm gonna do the same for the table so we're casting a shadow on the left hand side and we are going to drop that yellowish orange color on the right hand side on the table so we're flipping the colors diagonal and when the colors are wet when, when we have a wet surface and dropping colors in the color will start mixing beautifully and create um, really fun little bursts see the diagonal blue versus yellowish ochre I'm gonna make a little bit deeper shadow on the cherries it's going to be Time to touch everything we want to emphasize on. I think we're almost done so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell and if you're on rumble please don't forget to rumble happy painting thanks for watching bye